Hello, this is the tutorial for the standard mode of auto clicker. I will be using this click counter website in the tutorial, but you can use it in any other application. Just be aware that for some games, this kind of tool will be against TOS, so use it at your own risk. When you open the app for the first time, it will have these configurations. As you can see, we can just start the clicker with F6 and it will work. If you want to change the key to start it, you can go into the Configuration tab and change it. Now it will start with F2. In Standard mode, you will have a few configurations to easily start the clicker, but if you need something more complex, you will need to use Advanced mode, which I will explain in another video. The first configuration is the click interval. This is the interval between each click, so if you decrease the interval, it will click faster. The CPS here indicates a rough estimation of how many clicks per second it will execute. Let's reduce the interval and see the difference. You can remove the interval completely, but be careful since most applications won't be able to process clicks happening this fast, so it can cause lag, freezes, or crashes. The random offset is used if you want to add a range to the intervals, if you use 40 milliseconds for the offset and 100 milliseconds for the interval, this means that the interval between each click will be a random value between 60 and 140 milliseconds. In the Click Options section, we can change the mouse button that will be pressed. We can also change the click type between single click, double click, and hold. If you choose the double click option, you can change the interval before the second click. The default value for double-click recognition on Windows is 500 milliseconds, but you can change it if needed. If you choose the Hold option, it will hold the mouse button for the chosen duration and then release it. In the Click Repeat section, you can choose to repeat clicking until the clicker stops, which is the default configuration, or you can choose to repeat a specific number of times and automatically stop the clicker. Let's click exactly 50 times with this option. The location of the click is defined in the Cursor Position section. The default option is to click wherever your cursor is currently at. The second option is to click a fixed location. To choose the location to be clicked, you need to click on the Add Location button and then click on the point on your screen where the click will be executed. Let's test it with three locations and a 500 millisecond interval. You can add a delay between the clicks at each position so that the clicks won't happen simultaneously. You can also disable the Move Cursor option to make the click happen without needing to move your cursor. This is useful if you want to do other things while the clicker is running. Just be mindful that some applications will not recognize the click if the cursor is not directly above the location, so you might need to leave this option on in these cases. The Find Image option is used if you want to detect an image on the screen and click on it. The image provided needs to have an exact match for the click to happen, so this works best on pop-ups and icons since they don't change size, rotation, or perspective. Let's remove the standard interval and test it with the image of the target in this AIM trainer. The detection takes some time, so the clicks are not that fast. Let's look at the parameters and see if we can make it faster. The first parameter is the region of interest. With this option, you can restrict the region in which the image will be searched. This will help us make the process faster. Let's pick the region that we need to search. The second parameter is the delay between clicks. This works the same as the delay for the fixed locations and will only be used if more than one location is found with the images provided. We don't need that option here. The third parameter is the move cursor option, which we already seem. The fourth parameter is the resize factor. This reflects the resolution used for detection. So if you set this to 50%, it 
it will resize both the image provided and the screenshot to half the size and then try to match them. Reducing this can increase speed, but the detection might fail if you reduce too much. Let's try using at 50%. The fifth parameter is the detection delay. With this, you can set a delay before each detection. If you set this to 10 seconds, for example, it will continually click on the same detected location for 10 seconds. And only after that, it will try to detect the next location. We don't need that now, since we only want to click one time at each location. Let's start the clicker again and see the results. Now it's much faster. This worked well, but you might want to crop the background on the provided image, so it works with different backgrounds as well. Let's test it with only the target and a different background. These are all the features for the standard clicker. Thank you for watching.